Welcome back, lords and ladies. Welcome back to Fading Hearts. All right, so last episode, we talked to our good friend Otaku Boy and found out that he really is the playboy from the Wings of Light. Um, and he sent us a message last night saying he'll help us as long as we don't tell anybody else. And so I think we finally, uh, decided, hey, yeah, well, I had no choice. I mean, that's basically what's going on. Oh, that's what's going on, boys. Okay, let's check email real quick. Um, Charlie looking for me. And this was the uh, email very easily. Leave, um, let's, let's use computer and what can we get? Weightlifting, backpack, backpack. I, I, I'm not so sure about the resistance training. How's my stats? Okay, my personal strength is kind of high. Let's go outside. Um, go to touch a bottom park. Anybody here? I can read, relax, or go to the forest from here. There have been reports of shadowy monsters in the forest. It may be a prank, but could still be dangerous in there. Um, let's go in the forest. Even in daytime, one should always use care in trekking in the wilderness. Uh, let's go into the forest. Various people claim to see monsters here. Most likely it's the product of a lone wolf or someone's wild imagination. Still, it never hurts to be careful. If something uh, weird happens, I can always run. I hope. Uh, let's, uh, let's save first. Just in case there is a monster. And explore. I walk around the forest for a while. I don't see anything except trees and grass. Okay, let's go home. I don't want to risk too much at the moment. Let's go outside and mm, let's go to the Hubble Bubble. Um, let's relax a little bit. Okay, PS went up by two, stress down by uh, five, and I lost a little bit uh, by ten, and I lost uh, five in my um money, but that's fine. Let's go to Touch Bottom Park. Anybody? Nope, nobody there. What about the forest? Since it's not undead little crowd of predators, let's let's save right here and go into the forest. Various people claim to see monsters. Never hurts to be good. Explore a little bit. Aha! Dark creatures, red eyes from the shadow, poised to attack. So rumors were true after all. Uh, can I not run? A simple punch. Uh. Shadow leaps. Does 51 damage to me. How much life does the shadow have? Hmm. Oh, I actually won! You serious? Whoa! That stuff of nightmares. Uh, at least these shadowy fiends can be beaten. Um, I think we should go home. My PS went down by two, and my HP increased. That's good. All right, let's go talk to Sophia. So, Ryu, you brought me more information. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? I changed my mind. If there's something you want to tell me about, I'll tell you what I can. Really? I thought you were only interested in deal making. You're an exception. For now. I don't mind talking to you for a bit. I feel like punching her in the face. I have no clue what it could be, but she's definitely scheming something. Oh well, if she's in a charitable mood, I might as well learn anything I can from her. 
Let's talk about shadows. You've heard about shadow monsters, right? Yeah, I have. What of it? I saw some in the forest. What? What? You gone into the forest? Listen, Ryu. The forest is unspeakably dangerous. I'm not exaggerating. You should stay out of there. Trust me on this one. <clears throat> Even if you can fight a, a few of the weaker ones right now, they're getting stronger every day. You should quit while you're ahead. Okay, let's ask about Rena. Is there anything you can tell me about Rena? Well, not really. Oh, right. She has a crush on you. <laughs> yeah! Okay. I already knew that much. I'm not that dense. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you knew. You really are that dense. Hey! <laughs> so, what do you plan about it? Considering that she broke up with me herself, there isn't much I can do about it. But I don't really feel like telling Sophia that. I don't know, but there is one thing that's bothering me. And that is? She's the one who told me about Claire's boyfriend, but I don't know how she could have found out. Sorry, but there's nothing I can tell you on that one. Let's talk about Claire this time. You were talking about Claire before. Is there anything else you know about that I don't? I don't think so. I had heard she had a boyfriend before, but that's it. I'm not sure I'd want to mix up with her now, to be honest. Judging from your previous reaction when I called her kind, she must not have treated you very well. Well, that's true, but she's only pushing me to improve myself. That's why she's a good friend of mine. She treats me normally. Yeah, she treats me. Don't worry, guys. Treats me. <laughs> and other people don't? Well, no. I'm not really sure what made me say something like that. It's just popped in my head all of a sudden. All right, so last person is Alex. You said Alex was part of the Wings of Light. But he can't be further from what I imagined as an infamous player would be like. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't tell you much. He's very guarded about his past. All I know is that something terrible happened to make the Wings of Light disband. After that, two of them left town while the last one remained behind. The day Alex transferred here is the same uh, as when one of the ex-members transferred. You don't know anything about what made them split up? Nothing at all, I'm afraid. I've been trying to find out for a while now. I'll be going now. Ten till next time. That was kind of uh, useless information she gave me there. I think I'll go to the cosplay and see who's here. Welcome back, Master! <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see here. Royal Guard. I don't want anything here. Leaving already. Yeah, let's go to the bubble tea shop. Nobody's here either. Okay, uh, what about the park? Anybody here? I'll just rest. First seed. What? And the victor of the tournament of the Twilight Witch is the star of the night sky. A roar of applause erupted from the Colosseum audience. They're all cheering for me and chanting my name. But this isn't anything new. I was the returning champion, and I won again this time. It's like that in a lot of tournaments. I don't really care about winning, though. All I care about is magic. Battle magic is always the most intense, so it's something I can pour everything into without holding back. My spells are like a mirror of my thoughts and feelings. Thinking of and trying out new spells is my favorite thing in the world. So much fun whenever I surprise people. I love it when I do something different and catch them completely off guard. I love to watch others other people use new spells too, but as much as I love magic, the tournament bore me. 
The challengers I face don't seem to like new magic. Of course, there are strict rules about what you can and can't do with a spell. But even so, they always use the same set of spells in more or less the same patterns. So it's all so predictable. They listen to adults who think they know the best ways to do things. Or I don't know. Maybe they just like doing the same things over and over. Come on, uh, come now, Star of the Night Sky. Step up and receive your prize. My PS went down? What? What? No! Oh, what the heck? I don't get it. My PS went up, down, turn around. I don't get it. I'm lost. Well, uh, <coughs> hmm. only two important numbers I have, Claire and Rena. I see them all the time. I really set up plans to hang out. I want to hang out with Claire, to be honest with you. Hello, Ryu. <laughs> hey, Claire. Want to hang out sometime? Sure thing. You don't mind bubble tea, do you? Let's meet up tomorrow. All right. Now let's use computer work and let's help with the game studio. And I've, mm, let's optimize again. There we go. Lowered my PS, hired my stress. I arrive at uh, Hannah's bubble tea uh, shop a few minutes early beating the ever punctual Claire for once. I don't really mind having to wait as it gives me time to think. How can I separate her from her no good loser of a boyfriend she has? I feel almost as if I'm tricking her though, luring her here on the pretense that I just want to hang out. Well, well, look at you. You're on time for once. I'm not always late, you know. Hmm, I suppose. So, have you ordered yet? Not yet. I was waiting for you. Cool. What do you want? Mm. <clears throat> oh, man. I wish I remember what she likes. <sighs> Let's go with green tea. Uh, must I really have... Uh, tap I like tapioca. Green tea with tapioca pearls? Good choice. It's important to try new things out sometimes. Oh, she liked it! <laughs> we ordered drinks and find a table. Say, Ryu, what did you uh, do for fun as a little kid? I blink. That was certainly a weird question to ask out of nowhere. Well, I... Hmm. I scratched my head. I can't remember. But I think I read a lot. Maybe? Don't tell me you forgot simple thing like that. What kind of guy can't remember his childhood? Uh... I probably have a funny expression on my face because she burst out laughing. Don't think about it too hard. I'm just messing with you. Someday I'm going to find another pastime for this girl. <laughs> and now she's winding up for her next attack. Great. So, when are you planning to ask Rena out? She really does like you, you know. I know the full I know full and well because we briefly dated. And truth be told, I started to feel the same way about her. Not that I let any of it show in front of Claire though. She'll be at least three times worse than she is already if she finds out she succeeded. Yeah, I know. Then what's there to think about? Just ask her out already. I can't do that, Claire. Why not? Even if you don't like her now, you will start taking... Uh, you will if you start taking her out on dates. I don't think it works that way. Besides, I might end up hurting Rena even more than I did... If I did that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I treasure my friendship with her, and I don't want to lose her over something like that. Aw, that's so sweet. Just look how much you care for her. That's positive proof you really should be going out with her. 
Man, she is so pushy. I really should be going out with her, yes, but until Claire's troubles with her boyfriend are resolved, I just cannot, uh, just not in the cards. There is something decidedly er ironic about Claire trying to bully me into dating Rena, when right now she's the only obstacle preventing that from happening. Still, this isn't what I came here to discuss. I need to find a way to peacefully settle this for now and change the subject. Thanks, Claire. It's good of you to be so worried about the happiness of your friends. I smile at her, trying my hardest to avoid letting my real feelings show. But you know, I worry about you too. Me? Why could you possibly worry about me? Alright, so lords and ladies, uh, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you lords and ladies enjoyed this episode, please leave a big fat like. If you haven't subscribed, come on and come subscribe. I will catch you lords and ladies next episode on Fading Hearts. Bye bye now and enjoy.